different will your team be given that you just lost 10 guys to the NFL draft? Well, obviously it's a, it's a different team, and we're very proud of the guys that got drafted. It does make you very nervous because that's a lot of uh, draft picks, and we also had four or five guys that went in as free agents. Uh, we knew last year when, when we got here it was a very heavy senior team. I think we had 23 seniors, uh, and then three juniors came out early, which is something that's a surprise and always you know, hurt you in how you manage your roster. So, uh, I feel really good about what we have coming back on defense. I think we should be a very strong defensive football team, particularly in our front seven, because most of our guys return and, and uh, are big and physical and have experience. Offensively, we're a working project right now. You know, we got to figure out exactly what combination we're going to have on the offensive line. Uh, we've got some great competition that will go on at the quarterback spot, uh, but I think we'll be real strong at all the skill positions. It's, we might not have a Devonte Parker there, but overall, the group of skill positions gives us an opportunity to find guys that will be the playmakers for us. Bobby. Where's, what's Will Gardner's kind of status? I mean, do you anticipate Will being able to compete for the job in the fall? We do. He's had a, a very good outlook here in the, in the last month. He's really made tremendous improvement. Uh, he's ahead of schedule, but yet we're pulling the reins back, making sure that he only does what the previous schedule told him to do. Uh, but he says he feels better than he's ever felt, you know, better than after the first time he had surgery. You know, the unknown is that it's a, it's a third surgery on the same knee, and what happens when he starts torquing the knee? You know, as far as running and changing directions, he's doing great with that, but uh, how's it gonna respond to when he starts torquing it and delivering a football is, is the concern. But Will's very confident. He feel like, feels like he'll get into the competition when we start practice up in August, be 100% and ready to go. What about Lamar Jackson? Where will he fit into the, the quarterback? Conference? Well, Lamar's a very, very talented young guy. You know, and we're very proud to, to have him as one of our newcomers at the quarterback spot. He's a guy that has a very live arm. We liked his delivery, his ability to get the ball out of his hand quickly, and how accurate of a passer he was um, with also carrying the ability to make plays with his legs. I think that's one of the things he's real special about is not only throwing it, but being able to run. All he has to show us is how quickly he can learn and adapt and adjust to college football and you know what we're gonna ask him to know about protections and the run game and you know the other things that it takes to be a quarterback besides just throwing the ball or running. So um, it'll be fun to see how that all plays out. I think the benefit that freshmen have now is that we get to spend time with them now in the off season, just like in the summer, just like it's the off season in the winter. So he'll be able to be in the classroom with Coach McGee and, and learning the offense, not just from the other players.